Hello and welcome to SBRvideo.com. I am Matt DeSaro and today we are breaking down the first round of our NBA playoffs with the very own Ross Benjamin. How are we doing today, Ross? I'm doing very well, Matt. Thank you for having me. All right, well, thanks for being here. Now, Atlanta and Brooklyn face off tonight in Game 5 of this Eastern Conference showdown. Nets coming off another unlikely win against the Hawks on Game 4 on Monday. In this game, we saw the appearance of an old friend in Deron Williams. Obviously, Williams has been playing all series long, but this was the all-star version of Deron Williams we have not seen in a while. The Hawks didn't really have any answers for him. If we continue to see him playing at this level, can we expect to see the Nets have a bit more success in this series than they found in the beginning? Well, he'd be hard-pressed to continue at that level. I mean, all they want him to, to be is somewhat an inkling of what he used to be. I mean, even in his best days, 35 points in a performance he turned in in Game 4 would have been considered an epic performance at that. Having said that, uh, Atlanta has more problems than just Darren Williams. Right now, they can't figure out what the Brooklyn Nets are doing to them defensively. They're also having an enormous problems on the boards against the Nets' big men. So they, they have to have some adjustments going into Game 5 above and beyond worrying about just solely Darren Williams. This is an Atlanta team uh, that went 37-6 and six at home this season, so uh, they're going back home. They should be in their comfort level. The problem is nine points is a lot of points in this situation, and uh, we're also looking at uh, a high-scoring game we saw in game 5-4, excuse me, of the series, 120 to 115. The game did go overtime but it was the first game of the four in this series that went over the total. Right, now like you pointed out, Williams is not the only problem that the Hawks have in this matchup right now. Their big men are having a lot of problems in the paint with Brooke Lopez. Lopez is averaging high points and high rebounds in this series, and Atlanta doesn't have a whole lot of solutions at this point. Now for the Hawks to regain control of this series, they really need to secure the paint and pick it up on the perimeter now that Williams is heating up too. With the momentum waning, can Atlanta make these defensive adjustments in time to avoid the upset? Well, I think I'd be more concerned with the adjustments they need to make on the offensive end. Of course, they have to improve defensively. And of course, they have to improve their interior game. Uh, I don't know if that's a quick or an easy fix at this point. But one thing for sure, this is a team that lived on the perimeter this year. And a lot of their success was stemmed from going inside out and getting Kyle Korver some good looks coming off of some hard screens. And right now, Brooklyn has adjusted in every way, shape, and form to take away the Atlanta uh, perimeter game. And as a result, as you brought up, it's really exposed their interior game right now. So, uh, like Brooklyn made some good adjustments in games three and four at home, Atlanta's going to have to do a bit of the same in game five of this series. I agree. And then the Hawks come into Wednesday as a nine-point favorites with the total line at even 200. Now, Ross, I like the spread here, but with the up-and-down nature of this series so far, I don't love it. What's your advice in valuing this matchup tomorrow night? Yeah, I don't like the side in this contest whatsoever. I just think it's too many points to lay against a, in a competitive series such as this has been for the first four games. I'm not willing to go against the Hawks at home either since they're a stellar um, 35 and 6 on their home floor during the regular season, 37 and 6 overall, including the playoffs. So here's what I'd like to do. We got a Brooklyn team coming off back to back home underdog straight up wins in games three and four of this series. Despite the wins, the Nets are just 40 and 46 on the season. The combination of these factors sets up a very profitable totals betting angle, and let's utilize that. For our NBA pick on this on this contest, anytime you have a team like Brooklyn with a total of 200 or more coming off two or more straight up underdog wins in a row at home, and they have a losing record on the season, it has seen that team go under the total in 25 of those 31 games since 1996. Those 31 games have seen 71 of those 71 percent, excuse me of those contests go under the total by seven points or more. We're going to take the Brooklyn Nets and the Atlanta Hawks to go under the total of 200. All right, there you have it. Our expert handicapper, Ross Benjamin, expecting this game to stay under 200. I want to thank you again, Ross, and we'll catch up with you again tomorrow.
Thank you, Matt. Appreciate you having me. All right. And for SPRPicks.com, I am Matt DeSaro. And remember, for all of your NBA playoff expert picks and predictions, keep it locked right here.